All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. And yet again, we are talking about the brilliant Poco X3 Pro. Now, this is my second device, and this one is about two to three months old. It's doing great, and Android 13 custom ROMs are here. And one of the prominent names in Android custom ROM system is Evolution X. Now, we do have Evolution X 7.1 official. It is released on the 20th of September with Android 13. We are definitely going to install it in this video and we'll see what is new and later maybe we'll do a review. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello to some people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, as you can see, we have Evolution X 7.1 official device is the Poco X3 Pro, of course. YU and Beam are both supported. Android version is 13. The release date is as mentioned over here. And the change log is pretty significant because, of course, Android 13 is new and all the ROMs from Android 12 are coming to 13. So slowly and steadily, all the fixes are being applied. Things are being changed. So update ROM sources, switch to attestation hooks for GMS Play Store spoofing bring back system ui google quick tap and smart space etc add nav bar styles add toast icon toggle add quick settings battery estimates add colored status bar icons add heads up block list stop list add heads up snooze and timeout options add imei space feature and we have gesture height option cut out force full screen black theme support for dark mode added toggle to switch for aosp and google battery graphs upstream kernel this now, of course, the complete change log is going to be much longer. But what we need to ensure is that this is a beta build. It is OSS based. It does, of course, includes G apps. I'm going to use the latest firmware that is 13.0.3 for my region. You can choose the one that is the latest for you. Good thing here is safety net should be passing and everything else is pretty common. Now, right now, as you can see, I'm on stock MIUI. And let me quickly show you that as well, because this is an install video and yeah. So we are on MIUI 13.0.3 global. We are not rooted, nothing. We do have TWRP installed. That is the latest TWRP and we're going to install this ROM using TWRP. Of course, basic things apply as always. Remove your MI account, remove the lock screen security, password, everything to make sure your device is not encrypted. You need to have the firmware file and the ROM file. And of course, obvious things, you need to have a device that is a POCO X3 Pro with more than 50% battery and unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery like TWRP installed. Now, once you've taken care of all these things, you are pretty set and good to go to flash Android 13 based Evolution X 7.1. Now, of course, the first thing that we're gonna do here is press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. You can reboot and then keep the volume up button pressed as well, but that's fine. Okay, now it should boot into TWRP. All right, now just like that, we've booted into TWRP and we have our files in the internal storage. So straightforward, we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data, cache. We will not be wiping internal storage as always. Okay, now let's go to the home screen. Let's go to install and let's see here. We have the firmware and then we will select add more zips and select the ROM. Okay, now swipe to confirm flash. Now these are two different files that we are talking about and flashing them, of course, is going to take some time. So please be patient while that happens. It'll take about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, not more than that. Meanwhile, you can let me know in the comment section which one was your best and favorite ROM in Android 12 or 12L because all of the ROMs are now getting upgraded to Android 13. And I would like to continue bringing these custom ROM reviews or videos for you guys. Although we are focusing on different type of content to keep the channel interesting and entertaining. But yes, if there is any custom ROM, you know, request that you have or anything that you have a different topic about, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely, you know, try to consider it and make a video on it. Let's wait for this ROM to be flashed. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed successfully. We will go wipe cache in Dalvik. And just to be safe, we're gonna format data. Now, remember at this point, everything on your internal storage will be wiped. So it's understood that when you flash a custom ROM, you have to backup. So if you've not already, you still have time. You can connect this to the computer and do a backup because when we go to wipe, format data and type in yes, everything will be wiped. Okay, everything looks okay, no errors as such. Now let's go to reboot and select system. Now this is a custom ROM. So the first boot will not take anywhere between, you know, more than 30 to 45 seconds. So 
that should be really quick and let me see if they've still kept the boot animation the same have they made any changes to the boot animation or not we are still on the poco logo okay the boot animation looks to be absolutely the way it was earlier so let's wait for the device to boot up i will quickly skip through the settings part and then we can have a look how the rom looks and later you know let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a review of this or not okay that was quick while i was talking it has already booted up we're going to set it up offline so we don't have to go through the entire setup menu here okay skip we're not going to set a lock screen getting your phone ready skip again we know how to navigate all right the brightness seems little low in my opinion i'm also going to go to display here and disable the dark theme right that should be looking much much better let's remove the brightness a little bit little bit less okay this looks perfect all right now we are on the home screen just like that and the thing that i like the most about android 13 is the os itself is super smooth so any custom rom based on android 13 on any device for that matter is going to be super smooth for you anyways right now if you go to settings over here you go to about and you go to android version you do see this is android version 13 and if you take this clock to like one o'clock and here we go yeah so you should have the easter egg over here if you long press you get different uh, sort of a look at the easter egg this is 7.1 eve with september security patch and the kernel over here is the Kyrie light kernel this is one of the latest builds that we are talking about for this particular rom now good thing here is you do have the evolver which means you do have a ton of customization available and apart from this i don't see any major issues let me see if it is already at 120 hertz because the phone is stuttering a little bit but as i said in one of my previous videos as well if you've just flashed a rom you need to give it a couple of days before you actually judge that particular rom right it is already at 120 hertz wow look at the amount of different refresh rate options you have over here that's crazy so i think uh, they are planning to take this to the next level with android 13 and the amount of apps that you see in this rom is absolutely minimal the camera app is absolutely basic so you'll have to go through you know either anx camera or gcam you do have your evolution x wallpapers app over here and apart from that absolutely basic essentials is what you have you don't really have anything extra you do have a dedicated game space though which we will cover in the complete review but for now from the first impressions this looks like a solid rom and very very exciting let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next keep smiling take care goodbye